Hi guys, Brick Matt here. Can you guess what this one is? I know what it is. Rip it open. Oh, I don't like this stuff. Here we go. It's my snow plow. Right, so. Yep, that's definitely brand new. Hasn't even been broken, so now it's brand new. So, I'm going to get building this, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the set assembled. Um, I forgot to give the set number in the first part, which is 60083. <coughs> and it's now a retired set. <coughs> Excuse me, you got a bit of a croaky voice. Um, anyway, I'll start with what's uh, down here. Just the small pieces. The white pieces, these one by one round tiles, are meant to be used as uh, snow, as pictured on the front of the instruction manual. Then there's just a spare <coughs> gear wheel, spare technic. I, can't, I don't actually know what the name of that piece is, to be honest. And some a spare orange transparent <coughs> plate. And just a few spare round one by one transparent tiles. Transparent wedge piece and a grey one by one stub. <coughs> I've got to do this... Um, Review part of the video standing up because the cat has uh, nicked my chair, bless him, and I haven't got the heart to kick him off. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> try and clear my throat as best I can. Here's our figure. There's no back printing on this one, which is, um, I actually thought that was quite strange because they seem to put back printing on a lot of their figures um, quite commonly now, so I was surprised that this one doesn't. He's got the newer style of baseball cap with the um, hole in the middle for the, well, whatever you want to use them as, headphones or ear defenders. <clears throat> and I do like the new style of baseball cap because it's got the, um, it's a lot more detailed, there's a, more of a realistic shaped peak. It's got all the sort of grooves for the pattern in the hat and it's got the little um, sort of like a little notch in here to simulate where the um, adjustable strap would be. <coughs> so, yeah, I do like these ones over the older ones. So we'll just stand him to one side. We'll bring in the truck. Now, I think I counted 11 stickers on this. There's two on the top of the plough. There's a four on the front itself. <coughs> One, two, three, four. Uh, then it's got fuel tanks on the side, which is a sticker. And then there's uh, three on the rear. You've got the um, keep left or right side, whichever way you want to put it round. Instructions say to have the arrow pointing to the left, but because I'm in Britain, <clears throat> and my um, streets, on my little Lego street, are um, resembling a British road. And we drive on the um, left here, so I've made it so um, the arrow points to the left. So, uh, you know, you can have cars coming up from behind and they'd overtake. Like that. <clears throat> I do like the overall design. It reminds me of a um, Unimog, Mercedes Unimog. It's got the hopper on the back here where all the salt would be, would go. 
Um, I think this is more European based because I've never seen a Unimog snowplow um, type truck over here in England, but <coughs> that's, that's the sort of feel I get when I look at the front of this. It looks like a Unimog to me. It's got the extra headlights on the snowplow as the snowplow obscures the main ones. It's got the uh, overhead warning lights, the amber ones, the row of spotlights up the top here. The snowplow itself is fully adjustable and uh, I do believe these um, sections here are new parts. I've never seen them before anyway. Um, the snowplow does detach because it's held on with just one of those common ball and socket joints. So you can actually detach it if you want and just use it as a gritter truck. And the other trick this has got um, is that this gritter piece here actually works. See if I rotate the the actual bit that's meant to simulate the gritter tray. Cause on a real gritter the grit would be fed through here, just drop through and a little plate would spin and that's what would throw the grit or the salt all over the roads. So when you're driving along this has been made so it actually uh, spins that as well and if you don't want to use it you can just raise it like that and uh, it disengages. I find, I don't know if it's going to be like it on all models but with this one I've got to hold my finger on there when I lift that up otherwise sometimes it comes off because it's only held on with M4 studs so just hold it like that then you can it doesn't actually affect the um, mobility of the truck it does free wheel well with the uh, gritter in place and the other I did make one other change as well to um, suit my roads. As you know in England we drive on the left and our vehicles are right hand drive not left hand drive. So we have the steering wheel on the right hand side of the vehicle. And uh, one thing I like about Lego is with the design of their vehicles you can easily change it. See, All you have to do is swap the brick and the steering wheel around so you can have it either way you want. So I'll just purely at random decided to do that. I can do the same for the truck in the background here as well if I wish. Um, oh it does have the opening doors. Oops. Oh, it has doors that fall off. <laughs> Let's try, try that again. That's always a favourite feature of mine. <coughs> don't ask me why. I don't know. I just... To me the vehicles seem much more complete with an opening door. <coughs> it doesn't the body doesn't tip or anything, it is just positioned on there. That's a good likeness for the real thing. And that does everything a real gritter would do and a real snowplow would do. It's got quite a large snowplow. Okay, I've just found another weak spot. <laughs> See it's only held on with two studs. Well, four if you count the um, sort of arched piece that goes on there. So, you know, I don't know if it's a, a weak spot. Or if I think I was just being too heavy handed with it, to be honest. Yay! Just like a real snow plow, it would be down like that and tilted to one side so it shoves all the snow to the side of the road. Or. If we were in Europe or America, the snow blade would be pointing that way. I like it. Not too keen on all the stickers, because most of them are smaller, only these little, sort of little stripey, one by two sort of, um, tile sized stickers. The biggest ones are actually the fuel tank ones. 
I do wish they'd bring back printed bricks though. Because, um, one thing I will say, stickers don't seem to last that long. I've got some parts that are, are only a few years old and the stickers are already flaking. Which is why I'm not terribly keen on stickers. They don't seem to last. Especially on things. Hang on, I've got one I can probably show you. Right? There it goes, one of these, um, barricades and all stickers flaking like anything. It looks really... Mind you, it's not that much of a bad thing because it actually looks used instead of brand new. So it looks a bit more realistic if you want a realistic looking scene. I don't like realistic. Because to me, Lego is Lego. Well, obviously. But um, Lego... To me, Lego is meant for you to use your imagination. You know, if you don't want to be too realistic, then... Don't be too realistic. Design your own vehicles. Design your own buildings. Anyway, that's it for the review. I hope you liked it. Of course. Feel pardon me. Feel free to leave any comments and questions in the comment section down below. And uh I'll talk to you again soon, so uh, bye-bye for now. Whoops, just caught the camera. Bye.